So hello everyone and welcome to another one of my purchases, trades and finds videos. Uh, so this one's a bit special because all the stuff is from one person today. <laughs> and I'm sure many of you know him. Uh, it's Euro Coin Hunt, uh, aka Mike. So uh, we met up in Berlin uh, a few, so a couple of months ago and we did a big swap. So I couldn't fit it into another video so he's getting his own video. But uh, yeah, I think without much further ado, uh, let's have a look at what Mike uh, gave me. Okay, so <laughs> uh, he, uh, so here we got a couple of uh, proof sets, and these are actually the first ones I ever have. I don't own any proof sets, so these are my first ones ever. So uh, they're both from Germany, of course. Hero Coin Hunt is from Germany, so he was able to help me out. Um, Get me German proof sets. <laughs> so this particular one here is from the year 2000 uh, from the Carl's Rule Mint, uh, which is got the mint mark G. So uh, yeah, look at those lovely shiny German coins. I don't think I've ever seen the German eagles look so good before. <laughs> but even the even the the one cent, two cent, and the five cent coins look great in proof form. Nice, yeah. <laughs> and then the second proof set is one from 2005 uh, from the Hamburg Mint this time. Hamburg has got the J letter. So we just open it up. As you can see, very similar kind of style to uh, the one from Karlsruhe. But here we go. Here's the front. Actually, I forgot, I forgot to show the front side on the other one, but there we go. <laughs> yeah, this looks the exact same. As it should do, <laughs> you'd hope. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. And uh, yeah, there we go. And I think this is uh, special because it contains some, some coins that weren't released into circulation. If I'm, if I'm correct. <laughs> There we go. Again, coins looking great. And yeah, the first two proof sets I own. <laughs> All the way from Germany. Okay, so yeah. Two nice proof sets there. And of course, being in Germany as well, <laughs> he was able to help me out with a few of the German coins I'm missing. So uh, yeah, I'll just show in general. As you know, I'm trying to collect the German mint marks. So Mike was able to give me a few of the coins that he came across to fill in the gaps in my collection. So there we go. We have uh, Helmut Schmidt there, a couple of coins for him, uh, a couple for Brandenburg, a couple, and now there we got one for the Bundesrat, <laughs> uh, one for Berlin, and then uh, one for the fall of the Berlin Wall. So yeah, that's uh, seven new coins that can go into the, the Mint Mark book. Now, I will say, I, d I don't generally swap for the German Mint Mark coins. I do get offers of people um, offering to trade them. Uh, I only took these from uh, Euro Coin Hunt because we did meet up in person and it was just to build up a trade. Uh, otherwise, I just I don't swap for German Mint Mark coins. Uh, the 2022 coins, I am up for trades for that, uh, just because they're going to take ages to reach Ireland. Right, and we continue the, the, the team of Germany. <laughs> One of the coins I asked uh, for Euro Coin Hunt was this coin uh, here. See if I can get it out of its packaging. <laughs> there we go. Oops, I may have broke that time. <laughs> uh, well, let's see, this is coin dedicated to Fahrenheit. Uh, of course, he invented that uh, scale of temperature that the, the Americans love to use and I find really confusing. I'm glad we have used the Celsius scale here in Europe. But yeah, I think it's the 300th anniversary of him. But yeah, uh, was it 10 euro? Yeah, it is a 10 euro coin, yeah. From 2014. Again, that's a really, that's a really cool looking German Eagle. Style of German Eagle coin there. Nice, I think it's a lovely coin. Again, with this, I'm kind of selective of any other denomination from any country outside of Ireland in terms of coin. If I like, like if I like the design or the the topic of the coin, I'll add it to my collection. But I wouldn't actively 
collect uh i wouldn't actively start collecting 10 euro coins from germany just because i do i do need to like the design and what it's commemorating as well so yeah i think there's a lovely design and a yeah a nice a great topic as well i think okay so i think that's that i think that's the last of the german rated stuff now we're getting into the kind of bit of the odd mix of stuff that i got from euro coin hunt uh so Eurocoin Hunt's got a great collection of world coins and he's uh, going to help me out with some of mine. I'm a beginner in terms of uh, collecting world coins. So he gave me a selection here of some coins. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail in this video. I'm going to save them for special world coin hunt videos. So yeah, you will see them in them. Uh, but as you can see, there's some interesting looking coins uh, that you can see probably through the plastic. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going through these. And then some special <laughs> world coins he sent me uh, from some of his travels. These are coins from Moldova, and I don't, I don't think I own any coins from Moldova. So uh, yeah, these look great. I think they're all uh, commemorative coins as well. And look at the condition of them; they're so shiny. So yeah, uh, like the bag of world coins, I'm going to save these for um, special world coin hunt videos. And don't worry about the biohazard <laughs> bag. <laughs> I did question about that, uh, like why on earth they're biohazard bags. But uh, the coins are not a biohazard themselves. They're not contaminated. <laughs> Just I find it a little bit funny during a biohazard bag. But no, no, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to getting through these as well. So uh, yeah, hopefully those world special world coin videos will be soon. Uh, not a coin, but uh, Eurocoin Hunt gave me an old Czech uh, crown note. You've got 50 crowns here. Uh, I don't own many bank notes, so uh, I think this is like a welcome addition to my collection. And I think it's a lovely design actually on the bank note. I don't know exactly what it is uh, <laughs> or who this person is in Czech history. But no, it's, uh, it's, something, it's something new for my collection anyway. Now, the final coins have actually an Irish connection. He managed to pick up some Irish coins over in Germany for me. So the, the first one here is a, a little bit of an oddity. It's a, it's actually a token, uh, kind of like one of those specimen tokens for potential Eurocoin designs. And this is one he found for Ireland. So uh, what could have been? Uh, might have been unlikely, kind of picking this design but it's nice to imagine if we didn't have a, a harp on the coin what what we could have so as you can see it's a, a tree here with the, a map of Europe on the back Cora Nariva again odd little odd little addition to my collection and uh, a good spot by Mike a uh, good spot by Eurocoin Hunt he has a good he has a good coin store near to him, so he's lucky he's able to get this stuff. Uh, he also spotted this coin for me. Uh, it is a five euro coin from Ireland. Uh, this is to celebrate the Special Olympic World Games that were held in Dublin in two thousand and three. And for the Special Olympics, it was actually the first time they were held out of the USA in their history. And probably the only time Ireland's going to host an Olympic Games of any sort. So uh, yeah. <laughs> There we go, from 2003. Uh, there is a silver version of this coin, uh, I think a 10 euro uh, coin, but uh, I might get that in the future. But I think it's interesting the fact that it's an Irish coin that's got a little bit of colour on it. Okay, and the last coin today uh, is something that uh, Eurocoin had featured on his own channel in one of his videos uh, a while ago. It is a, a 5 EQ coin, uh, so I think EQ is a European currency unit and something maybe somewhat of a like a predecessor to the Euro, uh, I'm sure someone in the comments will have a very detailed explanation of what the EQ is, <laughs> but uh, here we have uh, it here, a 5 EQ coin, silver as well. So I think with this, uh, some countries did release physical um, representations of EQ coins. Uh, EQ was just it was just a digital currency, pretty much. It didn't have a physical form, 
but some countries commemorated special events on EQ coins. Uh, this particular special event was Ireland holding the EU presidency in 1990. And we have got the stag here. Uh, the stag was on present on the one pound coins from Ireland, so that's why it's on this coin here. Uh, I think the first one pound coins were actually released in 1990 as well. But yeah, it's lovely, lovely little silver coin. And then just in the box, it just comes with the actual proof uh, that it's uh, the real deal. <laughs> so there's 20,000 of them, uh, 10, uh, 10 grams of silver, and uh, yeah. I think that's the price. <laughs> 15 euro, I think that's a bit of a bargain. <laughs> but yeah, that is everything. That's everything in this, in this kind of mixed bag of a uh, purchases, trades and finds video. Again, thank you to Mike. Thank you to Eurocoin Hunt for all these world coins. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to send much interesting in reverse. Uh, just a few Irish coins. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a big collection of world coins or a good coin store near to me. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> these are all welcome additions to my collection and some I'm really looking forward to getting through. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments what your favourite of these coins that Eurocoin Hunt sent me. Uh, it's a bit of an odd buy, <laughs> an odd bunch, so I'm sure there'll be loads of different answers to that question. But um, yeah, hopefully I'll have another Purchases, Trades and Finds video soon. And if not, you can catch my regular coin hunt videos over the next few weeks. So um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching.